Let's go, Fred. I said let's go. Oh, Gazzy Seaside Snap wouldn't matter, would it? If he wasn't accessories to a murder. <laughs> Sam was the only person for Pinky. Um, I've always thought Sam had a movie star quality, and as well as that, Sam had this kind of diabolically cheeky charm. And I thought if I could push the diabolical a few steps darker, I might get something properly satanic. I wouldn't say he was a mastermind, but he is criminal. I think neither. And, and misunderstood and, and yeah. in some ways. Yeah. Go on. Oh, no. You. Go on. Well, um... <laughs> Uh, I, I, I think that he's, um, he has yet to explore a lot of himself and is possibly lacking any frame of emotional reference. And I, and I think probably the thing that Rose sees, that his potential is such, in so many ways, that, he could, that she sees that he could be so much more thinks that she does. I'm a Roman too. I used to be in the choir. Do you go at Mass? But he believes though. Of course I do. It's the only thing that makes any sense. We know from the book and we know from Green's writing about the book that he wasn't much interested in a documentary record of the actual Brighton at that time. And given that it was written in 38, 39, and the whole of Europe was going to be plunged into the biggest world war in history, there is no reflection of that. I felt licensed to try and reimagine the story as a contemporary one. But it didn't work. So 64 felt as contemporary as I could make it. And also, of course, is the first time when youth in British culture and society had any kind of rebellious power. And that's important for the story of Pinky, because he's a teenage gangster overthrowing all the gangsters and holding a razor blade up to, to establish society as a whole. So it seemed like the right setting to put the jewel of Pinky in. As soon as I read the script at home in, in Berlin, I started thinking about what I would, about Pinky, how it would be, what I'd be like, what it would be this and that, and that would, you know, that's months, that's before they even offer you it necessarily. <laughs> you pull the cheese, son. You better be ready to use it. A cinema ticket is, is probably one of the cheapest um, tickets you can buy. It's a good deal cheaper than most gigs you'll go to. And for your nine quid, um, I have shot a movie on Anamorphic 235. That is the widest letterbox format known to man. And it will give you an epic experience that will pluck you out of your seat and whack you on the edge of the White Cliffs of Dover with a 150 foot drop behind you and a soundtrack that involves choirs of angels and devils. If you download it for free, you're not watching the movie I made and uh, you're certainly not a friend to filmmakers and, and it will make it harder for you to have anything half decent to illegally download in the future. So if you're going to do it, at least see f as many possible movies that you've paid for properly before you then break the law. I'm scared. I'm with you.